G'day guys, the Bucks versus the Rams week 3 game is almost upon us. The Rams are going to be a tough match for the Bucks, so here are the predictions. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy this video, I post a new Tom Brady video every day. Oh, and in case you hadn't noticed, I've changed the channel name from Tom Brady Daily to TBD Tribute. Anyhow, enjoy this video. The only 2-0 teams facing each other this week um, that both made the playoffs a year ago. Brady leads the NFL in touchdown passes. Um, what do you see from him so far this year? I, I see a comfort level. You know, we talked about so many things throughout the course of the beginning of last year as he was in a new offense, in a new place, getting familiar with a lot of new guys. And then the second half of the year, it just started to click. And whether that was putting in things Tom was comfortable with or him getting comfortable with what Coach Arians um, and Byron Leftwich are doing, whatever it is, he's in a state of comfort right now. Is He can still play the game. He can still throw it. He's got all these weapons, but he's comfortable with what he's seeing. And the timing has picked up within this offense. And we're seeing the results of that. You know, it's just he hasn't missed a beat. This team hasn't missed a beat from where they were at the end of last year. And it's going to be fun to watch where this team can go this year and specifically this week. This Rams defense, I know they were number one last year. They didn't necessarily look that part this past weekend uh, with some ups and downs there. But it's going to be fun to see how they stack up against this Rams defense. And Aaron Donald, can he get after uh, you know Tom Brady with the way their offensive line is playing? I just think the Bucs are playing at another level right now. I know the Bucs won the Super Bowl, but correct me, maybe I was asleep. It was last year. It wasn't this <laughs> year yet. Tony, so. come on. I hate to be a part of the dumb money ostensibly because of the line moving in the way that it is. But I don't think it's dumb money to point out, yeah, one team has Tom Brady. Like, I hate that we can simplify it that much, Tony, but the fact is Tom Brady is playing quarterback better That's than right. he has in literal years. And so as much as I respect Matt Stafford, as much as I think the Bucks' defense, the pass defense has some holes, give me the, give me the team with Tom Brady on it. Sorry, I'll, I'll go down feeling dumb that way. Just telling you. It opened with the Rams as the favorites, and that was shot down. JJ, you said it right there. It's about winning championships. That's why Tom Brady's the greatest. That's why he's the GOAT, right? I don't think he cares whether Matthew Stafford outduels him on this, <laughs> during this game. He can have more yards and all that. All Tom Brady wants is the W. He yeah. wants the win. And when you talk, when you look at Tom Brady, he can play any style. You, you, you want, right? If, if, if you got a dominating front four like the Los Angeles Rams can have and Aaron Donald and all of that type of stuff, he's just going to hit you with the short passes. He's going to spread you out, hit you with the short passes, call the run game when it's warranted to get double teams on Aaron Donald and things like that to tire him out. And then late in the game in the fourth quarter, he's going to hit you with a deadly dime down the field that's going to break your heart. That's what Tom Brady does. I mean, you look at his record against defensive players of the year. He's nine and two. So he's seen his share of great defensive players. I just think when you look at Tom Brady and this Tampa Bay offense, they can beat you or they can play any game that you're willing to play. And obviously you got uh, Rob Gronkowski right there who's looking very spry and springy right now. <laughs> yeah. Again, one of the top leaders um, with catching touchdowns in the National Football League. I mean, I, I think this is the one everybody's got their eyes on. Brady going to L.A., Stafford's there, McVay and the new team and everything there is just exciting. You know, I, it's a toss-up game. I guess what I came down to here is just this. Uh, I haven't seen anybody get close to Brady really ever since they were 7-5 and five last year. And because of that, I just think they're going to be hard to stop. You know, now, do I think that the Rams are going to be able to move the ball in the Bucks? I do. I do. I think McVay is just going to continue to grow and grow this offense. You know, I like their offensive line this year. I know I mentioned their off new offensive line coach. I think he's brought something to their offense to a degree for the Rams. But I just can't pick against the Bucks quite yet. I think they got a special mojo going, and I think this is one where – you know, the Rams might get a crack at them again in the playoffs later on in the year. Maybe they'll have to learn from this. I'm going to go Bucks 30 to 28. All right. Oh, you've got the Bucks by one point covering. I've got Bucks 27 23. And I could just see Tom Brady making a big play with the game on the line yeah. and Matthew Stafford not. I could just I could see that happening. I, look, I know Stafford's done great so far and he's an MVP candidate. We've got him on this week's watch list, but. 
Brady has been spectacular. This is his first game ever in Los Angeles, and he has designs on getting back there for the Super Bowl, and uh, they have looked too good. Even without Antonio Brown, they got plenty of other talented receivers. I think they will get it done, and I think Brady will not be thinking about going back to New England. This is the perfect game to drop a week before New England. It's going to require your full attention. Yeah, If it was like the Panthers or the Saints or something like that, and I don't want to denigrate the Saints or the Panthers, really, but if it was just a game that didn't, you know, yeah. playing the Vikings yeah. or something like that, the Giants, you know, right. a team that you look at and say we should easily win, maybe right. you step in a hole. This is one that's got his full attention, 100%. and then he gets a full week to get ready for the return to New England. AB not being able to play because of COVID was a big hit to the Bucks because Brady loves throwing to AB. They have a great connection. However, they still have a lot of weapons. So to me, that wasn't a major problem. However, losing JPP, that is a cause for concern. No matter though, I'm still sticking with the Bucks. I'm not as confident as I was earlier in the week. However, Brady's done more with less. The bigger the obstacle, the bigger the challenge, the better Brady plays. I'm picking 28, 14 bucks. What have you guys got? You know, it's going to be on Aaron Donald up front. It's going to be on Jalen Ramsey on the back end to find a way to slow down that high-powered offense with Tom Brady slinging it to all those great receivers and his old buddy Gronk. I think if the Rams can pull this off, they can start to build the confidence that they can be the championship team they think they are. Bucks already know they can be a championship team. I mean, I understand why Tom Brady's saying what he's saying, but the fact is some stuff does carry over from last year. Most significantly, they know that they can be a champion. The Rams are still trying to find that out. It's the difference between thinking and knowing. Yes. Like, I think if Jeff got mad at me, I could hold my own for a few minutes. But Max, I know if you want to go to the fisticuffs, I can, I can handle up with you. And so it's a difference for them. And the Bucks, You've never been in a fight if you think fights last a few minutes. <laughs> You've been in a oh, fight? They do when I'm in them. So the, the, Bucks, the Bucks know that they can win a championship. Yeah. They know Tom Brady can come through. The Rams, they think they have a little hope. They got their fingers crossed. Jeff, who has more pressure here, Rams or Bucks? Rams. I mean, listen, when you, when you think about the Rams and what they're, they're all in on Matt Stafford. They understand they brought him to win now. They understand that they, they sit well in their division. We talked about how tough the NFC West is going to be. They probably are sitting on top of it right now. But they got to go show who they are. And Matt Stafford, listen, he's a, he, he has been a great quarterback. He ain't won a lot of big games. This is the first premier, this is a big game, right? Like good coaching staffs, good players, like let's match it up and see what it is. Um, I think this is a, I think this is an enormous game for Matt Stafford and, and Sean McVay together just for what they're facing. So what you're saying is it's okay for Matthew Stafford to continue the trajectory that his career has always been. We know Matthew Stafford is good, but they don't win. So that's, so that's okay to you now. We you, can, you can allow Matthew Stafford when you break. When you bring I, them over I to a team like a the Los standard. Angeles Rams. Yeah. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you believe in Matthew Stafford to beat Tom Brady? Oh, five. Nine. Ooh. That's where I'm at. A nine. Yeah. Say it with your chest. Nine. Try to convince yourself, Shattered Sharp. To me, there's no doubt all the pressure is on Matt Stafford and the Rams. He has to prove that he's worth what the Rams paid for him and he's going up against the GOAT and the reigning Super Bowl champs. That's a lot of pressure. I don't know how many times Stafford's been in this situation and come through. He's got to be feeling nerves. It's almost a must win for Stafford because if he loses this game, it could smash his confidence when they meet again in the postseason. Whereas if Brady loses, it just makes him angrier and more motivated to destroy you next time he sees you. Also, Another bonus, if the Bucks do lose, Brady's going to destroy the Pats the next game because even Bill Belichick has admitted that Brady never has two bad games in a row. Tell me this, is this a must win for Stafford? 
It absolutely is. And I truly hate saying things are must win in week three because especially now you have 17 weeks. So you can lose this week's and run off week and run off the next and then you're good. But that's not the case for Matthew Stafford. He was talking in the preseason and he said he came to Los Angeles because he wanted to play in big games. He wanted to be in meaningful moments and he wanted to make winning plays when they counted. Well, here's the first time that they count. It doesn't have to be a playoff for Matthew Stafford. Last year, the Jared Goff led Los Angeles Rams beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and he and, and Matthew Stafford is supposed to be the upgrade. They're supposed to be able to win because of Matthew Stafford, not in spite of or win with Matthew Stafford. And so here is his chance. You're facing the greatest the greatest player of all time. You're facing an offense that puts up points in, in large numbers. And so now Matthew Stafford, can you be that difference? Can you push the football down the field? Can you make those huge plays? Can you beat the GOAT? And this will be his first opportunity to do so. In this particular situation, it's about going up against the GOAT. It ain't about just going up. It's not just a big game. It's going up against the reigning defending Super Bowl champions led by a 44-year-old dude who's got seven Super Bowl titles and is considered the greatest of all time. Bucks Rams, one and a half. The Rams are getting at home against the traveling Super Bowl champions. I'm going to take the Rams here. Uh, me too. Shannon Sharp at this moment has me on the run because the of run? the loss of two initial players, <laughs> AB and JPP. If you had told me three, four days ago yeah. that I would be without Antonio Brown and Jason Pierre Paul, AB and JPP, my initial prediction would have been undercut. I wouldn't have been nearly as confident. But I, for one on this show, have courage of my convictions. I am never flip skip. So I'm oh, going yeah. to stand strong behind my man, Thomas Edward Patrick Brady yeah, Jr. Exactly. Because I got one thing and only one thing going for me on Sunday. What's that? I do not have Brady's favorite target. And I'm going to remind you, speaking of targets, when they did lose to the Rams last November at Tampa Bay right. on Monday Night Football, the most targets by far on the team in that game right. went to Antonio Brown. He had 13 targets right. in that game. He is almost certainly not going to be able to play because of COVID, right? right? Yep. And what came alive at the end of the year? What made the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl, according to Shannon Sharp. Well, it was the demise of the protection, the offensive line of one Patrick Mahomes boy. Yep. And meanwhile, all of a sudden, Shaq Barrett on one end and even more so JPP on the other end started to rise and shine mm -hmm. and, and devastate, right? Yep. JPP made the Pro Bowl last year, and it sounds almost certainly like he's not going to play right. in this game, right? Yep. Okay, so you have me at two supreme disadvantages, mm -hmm. except I got you in one spot. I still don't believe in Matthew Stafford. Absolutely. And I know people are going to say, well, it's week three. What can you prove in week three? Hell, you can prove a lot, especially when a team gives up a first round pick player <laughs> to get you. And then they give up more picks on top of that. And you were brought there to elevate this team. You were brought there because Sean McVay didn't feel like when a Tom Brady was on the other sideline, he had his own guy. Well, now he's supposed to. And so Matthew Stafford has to elevate this team, but still play within himself, understand that when it gets to situational, situational football moments, when it's those critical parts of the game, he has to excel. And be honest, he hasn't had this opportunity. Detroit wasn't in no big games. Detroit wasn't winning. Nobody was walking into Detroit when they had plans on winning the Super Bowl. Like, they were nervous about playing no that team. Hell yeah, Matthew Stafford has been talented, but he has not been in these situations very often, and he has not been in them against the GOAT. It's going to be exciting to see what he can do, but he has to prove to himself, Sean McVay, they, the Los Angeles Rams, that he's the guy for this, for this job and that he was worth all they gave up to get him. I've got my eye on the Buccaneers visiting the Rams. Last year, the Rams took care of business against Tampa Bay. Then they added Stafford, and it should go really well for them. But I'm going to say that Tom Brady wasn't up to speed with his offense last year when they faced each other, and it's going to come down to defense. Come on, Devin White. You have the GMFB bump. You were on the show on a Friday. All right, here we go. Bucks <laughs> over the Rams tonight. That's it for this video. I post a new Tom Brady video every day, so please like and subscribe. That way you'll always have a new Tom Brady video to watch every single day. Thanks for watching.